Imagine going into a room full of people and getting their respect and admiration right away even though you haven't said a word. It sounds too good to be true doesn't it? It's not impossible though. No magic or secret potions are needed. We have a lot of helpful tips based on psychology and how people act that will help you get this amazing effect. From how to improve your body language to how to talk to people better we're about to give you 10 tips that will change how people see you. So keep an eye out and see what happens. Number 8 Take up space and attract respect. Imagine you're at a party with a lot of people and you're a little worried because so much is going on. All of a sudden you see someone who demands respect and gets everyone's attention. You might be curious about what they do. Well you might not believe it but owning your area is one of the easier ways to get respect. Social psychology research shows that the way we move tells a lot about how confident and in charge we are. So here's the deal. When we stand tall stretch our arms out and have an open posture we send signals of confidence and power. It's like a bright sign that says hey world I'm here and I want respect. This kind of action has a name. Power posing. It's all about showing the world that you don't mind being seen and that you're not afraid to take your place. Number 7 Be the leader. Now think of someone you know who is always in charge and gets things done. When people see them what do they do? How do they feel about what they say? When they walk into a room it's like they're the boss and everyone looks up to them. I know it sounds like a lot of work but let me tell you why it's a big deal. This whole thing is based on a concept in psychology called the halo effect. Studies have shown that how competent and trustworthy people think we are depends a lot on how often we take the initiative. By being proactive we make a good impression that goes far beyond the job we are doing at the time. People look up to and value people who are self-starters have drive and never stop trying to make things better. It's all about making an impression that lasts and being someone people can count on. Number 6 Your silence has the ability to issue commands on its own. Do you remember a time when someone's noise or constant talking made you lose respect for them? People might think that if they are the biggest person in the room they will be respected but psychological study shows that this is not the case. When we stop to think listen carefully and choose our words carefully we give off an air of knowledge and thinking that makes people want to know more about us. It's not about taking over the conversation it's about how you talk. Do you know what happens when someone who doesn't help out very often says something that everyone loves? That's right you should do that. Don't say things that make no sense. Make things simple for your audience and sound charming at the same time. And don't say anything unless you're sure it will affect the people around you. Discuss things that are helpful. But what if you have to say something intellectual or emotional? People like hearing new or we could say different ideas that make them feel good. So don't talk unless you have a slightly different idea and can explain it in a creative way. Look at how the eyes get big and the head nods in wonder and respect. Number 5 Synchronize your words and actions. Answer if someone always does what they say they'll do wouldn't you always like and respect them? Their words are strong enough to make people do what they say and you should respect them for that. You both have to learn the same thing. Don't make promises you can't keep. Don't be afraid to say no if you're not sure about something. Studies in psychology show that when we always keep our promises and do what we say we will do we get a reputation for being trustworthy and reliable. People value us because we are honest. We show this by doing what we say and saying what we do. This happens because of a psychological concept called the consistency principle. People tend to like it when other people are constant this idea says. When what we say and what we do are the same it shows that we can be trusted that we are honest and that we stick to our values. People can't deny that this consistency gives them a sense of safety, reliability and respect. Number 4 Use the thin slice method. When we break out of fashion stereotypes and wear clothes that show who we really are magic happens. Psychological study shows that people who accept their uniqueness are seen as confident and sure of themselves. They also make other people admire and respect them. By showing your true colors, whether through odd fashion combinations, vintage treasures or handmade accessories you become a captivating force that can't be ignored. It's like making your own personal brand a visual story that shows what you stand for what you like and how creative you are. But how do you stay stylish while still being yourself? 
you don't have to spend a lot of money on the most expensive brands. Find brands that go with your style and your body's shape and size. Number 3. Allow the allure of touch to reign supreme. During a heartfelt talk can you imagine how powerful a gentle touch, a light brush on the arm or a comforting pat on the back would be? It's amazing that something as simple as a touch can change the way people feel about each other so much. Studies in psychology have shown that the right kind of touch can be very helpful. Even when no words are said a friendly handshake, a high five to show happiness or a calming hug shows confidence, empathy and understanding. It's like a secret language that people use to talk to each other from the heart. So why does touch matter so much? Well it shows how well biology and psychology work together. When we touch someone our bodies make oxytocin which is called the bonding hormone. Oxytocin helps us feel like we're part of a group, lowers our stress and makes our relationship stronger. So when we touch our friends this amazing hormone runs through our bodies making us feel close and laying the groundwork for trust and respect. Number 2 Your flaws can provide you an advantage. Think about a time when someone was honest about their flaws and you couldn't help but respect them. What is it? You can do the same thing and it will turn out great. Studies in psychology have shown that when we share our flaws in an open way something magical happens. We become easier for other people to like understand and talk to. By being honest about our flaws we break down the walls of trying to be perfect and build a trusting and understanding environment. When we talk about our mistakes it shows how real we are how likable we are and how strong we are. It's like telling other people they can accept their flaws and be proud of where they've come from. Before you try this trick you should know what flaws to share. We're not talking about sharing deep fears or personal problems that make other people feel uncomfortable. Instead talk about things that people can connect to like how after a week of hard work you sometimes just want to relax. Make sure it's fun easy to understand and doesn't contain anything bad. Number 1 Enhance the unique and surprising. Imagine being in a place where there is a lot of strong competition whether at work, in sports or anywhere else. Now here's a twist. Try something else instead of trying to beat your rivals. Give them honest praise. At first it might seem strange but let me explain why it's important. Psychological studies have shown that when we openly acknowledge and praise the strengths and accomplishments of our rivals something interesting happens. We raise our own status and get other people to respect us. By praising their skills we show that we are sure of ourselves and don't feel frightened by their success. It's like having a skill that changes a competitive setting into one where people help each other and work together. This happens because of a psychological idea called the Ben Franklin effect or social proof. People think well of us when we give real compliments to others even our competitors. By pointing out the successes of others we show that we are confident and that we respect and value excellence even if it comes from our rivals. It brings people together and builds bridges of respect and love. So the next time you are in a competitive position think about taking the high road and giving your competitors real praise. It's a good way to show that you're a confident helpful player and it makes a place where everyone can do well. And there you have it the easy ways to get respect from anyone out there. But before you leave we want to know if you've ever respected someone who used one of the tricks we've already talked about. Tell us in the comments if you've made it this far. Leave a comment with the word 100 to show that this video has taught you something.